Good morning. So in order to get past this door, this is where you would have to give your password. Since you, John and Shalima, don't have a password, that's okay. I will let you guys in anyway. So follow me. We are walking through the tunnels now, and we are going to check out where the bootlegging headquarters are. Bachelor Canada is coming to City TV this fall, and all this week on BT, we have exclusive clues as to who the Canadian Bachelor will be. Here's your second clue. Today he said that he was a janitor at a country club. That was his first job. Hmm. Yeah, I'm still clueless. Good morning. Welcome back to Breakfast Television here on City TV. Well, joining me is Jeanette Legault from the Winnipeg Regional Health Authority. We are talking about quinoa. Okay, so first of all, what is it? Good morning and welcome back to Breakfast Television here on City TV. Joining me is stylist Roger Medina. Now, Roger, you're in Canada's best beauty contest. Yeah. Um, now I have to ask, how has your life changed since going in the contest? Good morning, welcome back to Breakfast Television here on City TV. Well, Lennard Taylor is here with me. He is a local designer and we're going to be looking at his brand new collection. Okay, Lennard, hottest new trends this summer. If you have to pick three, we can narrow it down to three. What are they? Uh, well, for men, I'd say holsters for carrying all your goods. Jim, what advice can you give to business owners in Canada who are wanting to branch into the U.S. market? Remember, it's a big market. We did the same thing. Uh, I think you've heard from both these panelists that we're sitting here talking about this, and I was thinking about what they were saying. So, we're going to make some truffles. We are. Okay, so what is the trick? The truffle, this, the original truffle, this is my all-time favorite. You have very good taste. Just going to have a little bit right now, maybe. Good morning, welcome back to Breakfast Television here on City TV. New York Times best-selling author Suzanne Somers has written 23 books. The former Threes Company star has just published another one appropriately titled Bombshell. Now the real-life bombshell Suzanne <laughs> Somers joins me live from Toronto. Welcome Suzanne. <laughs> I, I asked for that, didn't I? <laughs> we actually get a refund for all the GST we spend on providing municipal services. Mm -hmm. uh, at, the, at this point, the province of Manitoba does not refund the PST. With an HST, there's certainly that opportunity, even with the current PST. I'd be remiss as the municipal guy at this, in this group here to not bring that up. Mm -hmm. So Dr. Gerard, the Harper government wants to cut $11 billion in the next three years. Do you mm -hmm. think that's feasible? Well, I, I was there in the 1990s with uh, Paul Martin and John Chrétien and... Uh, now, Kathy, after your parents passed away when you were in your late teens, you began working out to combat depression. Is exercise and healthy living the best medicine? Yeah, I, I actually, my whole career started because I lost my parents, as you said. You had some fun naming your collection. I mean, my favorites are Pour It Out, Watch Your Tone, <laughs> and Micromanage. How did you come up with these names? That's so funny to hear you say that. You obviously do like a lot of different genres. Now, if I were to take your iPod right now, what would I find on it? <laughs> Just depending on what my kids put on there. Uh, you know, I've been listening to a lot of different stuff lately. Uh, I got a new Joe Cocker album on there that I, that I absolutely love. And you've been, uh, people compare you to Joe Cocker. Yeah, Joe Cocker's actually recorded a few of my songs. Uh, a lot of people don't even know that, but... And you haven't heard years. them yet, have you? No, I've not heard them. Wow, uh, so when are you going to hear them? Uh, hopefully soon. I'm very excited about that, you know. I get it compared to a lot of Joe Cocker and Brian Adams and Rod Stewart and Bob Seger and Tom Jones. Because you have that sexy, raspy voice, that's well, what it is. You. Well, we're back with makeup artist Kelly Ringler, who earlier discussed with us the ins and the outs and the importance of a perfect eyebrow. And now we're going to put her tips to the test so that we don't end up looking like this. Well, it's a picture of, uh, there we have a picture of Frida. She has some wacky <laughs> and outrageous eyebrows. Thanks, Shannon. Well, if you've noticed Winnipeggers laughing a lot more than usual, you're not imagining it. Winnipeg has been invaded by some of North America's funniest comics for our annual comedy festival right here in Winnipeg. Joining me this morning is comic Sherry D. Sutton. Good morning. Good morning, Megan. So you've been here a few times in Winnipeg. I have. This is my fourth time. And how's Winnipeg treating you? Oh, I love, they're fantastic. So They love their comedy. We do love our comedy. That's you a very do. fair statement. You do. There's no coffee. Oh. I just wanted to point it out. There she well I just we did wanted, offer her coffee. We did offer coffee. Well you did mm -hmm. offer it, but I think this is the look, isn't it? Yeah, and it's you pull it off a, well. A, yeah, you pull it but off. I look, well. But it looks it like we're chatting. Your outfit. Doesn't it? You do Cheers. you have coffee? Here we go. There we go. Do you now, have coffee, don't I, you? I do actually okay. have coffee. Okay.